self-love. It almost seems like the buzzword of our generation, how to be full of it and how to practice it. And as we navigate through difficult and uncertain times, I feel like there's no better time than now to go inward and also just have fun. I'm excited to be partnering with Atelier Cologne, who is sponsoring this video, and they're just allowing me to dedicate a whole day to being self full and to create a dream day of what my own inner child probably would have thrived in. <laughs> Today I'm wearing Clementine California, which is a unisex scent that has notes of juniper berries, vetiver, and clementine. This smell evokes so many different memories from my childhood. Growing up, I had a wide variety of citrus fruits in my backyard, and every summer I would look forward to the crop. And yes, I did go back home, and yes, my dad did film these clips for me, and my dad also really enjoyed this scent. We would pick fruit in the blistering hot summer and then make a delicious juice. I remember that time just being so playful and joyful because summer was always my favorite season. I know we can't go outside right now but I wanted to just bring those elements of joy and playfulness indoors. Because those are the elements of falling in love with yourself again and again. We tell ourselves so many narratives about who we are as adults, but it's so important to remember that era of just being a child in the summertime when you're on break and you're able to play and be free. And that's exactly what this scent does for me. Self-love to me is ultimately about expressing yourself to the fullest extent. Maybe it's because I'm an Aquarius, like almost painfully stereotypically so, but growing up I used to deal with so much self-loathing for the way that I looked and makeup in a lot of ways became my armor, but now it's become more of my sword. I think we're so often taught that makeup is to conceal and to alter your face, but it can be a celebration of the self. I play with color, shapes, different textures now, and it's not about looking pretty like someone else. It's about looking like me, which of course should be, you know, the prettiest of all in all my uniqueness, you know? I've been really loving the color teal, as I'm sure you can tell. Uh, use this time now to have fun. Release yourself of the idea that you need anything to be beautiful. You're beautiful when you're expressing yourself. In that similar vein, a good outfit can make you feel like a rock star. So I'm not gonna lie, I've been pretty bummed out that we can't go out and dress up. But if this is how you feel powerful, and this is definitely how I feel powerful, have a fashion show now. Create outfits to go to your living room in, to walk your dog in. We got the right stuff. We put the hammer right down. For so long, I used food as a way to police my body or just as a negative coping mechanism, constantly trying new diets and eliminating certain foods altogether. But if you want to eat something, eat it. I follow no diet and this was my first time cooking zucchini noodles. So zucchini is one of my favorite vegetables, so I can't believe I didn't know about this. But then I used just this frozen turkey bolognese sauce because I actually really love bolognese um, ever since my friend Yannick cooked it for me. Then I just added some fresh cherry tomatoes, black pepper, red pepper because I like it spicy. It's really easy to forget the importance of cooking for yourself a nourishing meal and how simple it is to really remix them like swapping out noodles or just trying to make something dairy free just for the fun of it. I'm sure the Italians are quaking right now but this dish was actually really tasty so cook for yourself because you deserve it. I dance everywhere. In the line at the grocery store, at the bank, in my car. 
Our bodies actually hold emotional trauma and our postures and our inability to move freely show that. So dancing and more importantly, dancing like a fool or doing the ecstatic dance has always been a way for me to reclaim all of that. As one of my favorite modern philosophers, Alain de Botton says, and I quote, dancing has been valued for allowing us to transcend our individuality and for inducing us to merge into a larger, more welcoming and more redemptive whole. So it allows us to just leave behind our egos and forget our jobs, qualifications, and it just unites us through our common human nature. a lot when I was a kid and I would read books off Oprah's book club list before I even knew who Oprah was when I was like 13, immersing myself in someone else's world and thoughts. I stopped reading for a bit during college but now that I've graduated I have felt really privileged and spoiled to be able to read anything I want. If you want to learn something, there's a book on it, I guarantee you. I consider myself a student of life now. I sometimes feel overwhelmed and a bit sad that I can go my entire lifetime and still not have enough time to read every book in the world, but expanding the mind and learning new perspectives on those that live completely different experiences than you is one of the most invaluable gifts you can give yourself. More than anything, books also just make you feel less alone. My unread books will never forgive me during this quarantine if I choose to still not read them. younger I always wanted to take art lessons but my parents didn't have money for that and as I've grown older that desire still exists but no longer has to go unacknowledged. I recently bought this watercolor set and this was my first time doing it. I think it's so important to remember that you don't have to be good at something for it to be fun because life isn't always about constantly achieving it's simply just about doing and being and this is something I especially needed to hear because uh, my paintings were less than excellent so art students and art critics uh, you know be easy on me but it's been really fulfilling to just kind of explore this part of myself because now I have the money and the time forms collide. And every time it feels like hours pass when days go Lastly, if you made it to here, thank you so much. I wanted to close out the video by writing a love letter to myself. So often we live in self-deprecating, low vibrational states of being, never giving ourselves the gratitude and appreciation we truly deserve. We are all divine sparks of the universe, Deepak Chopra. So here it goes. Dear Amy, you have an insatiable curiosity for the deeper world around you and an even bigger vision for the future. You won't stop till you get there and nothing to me is more admirable. I love how you share your knowledge and your wisdom with anyone and everyone. No topic is off limits. You want everyone to be free, to be who they are as they wish because that is more than enough. And I hope that one day you can see that for yourself, that you being you is far more than enough you are destined for amazing things and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I love you. I would love for you to write a love letter to yourself and if you could DM it to me, that would be even more awesome or write it down in the comments if you have the courage to. Well, thank you for hanging out with me on this day of self-love. I hope this could inspire you to do one nice thing for yourself today or just to honor yourself. And again, a huge thank you to Atelier Cologne for partnering with me on this video. Be sure to check out their fragrances down below and find your match. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Hear the trauma.